we need to talk m cosmetics released their new heaven and earth collection a homage to the radiance of angelic beings meet our limited heavens glow shades seraph and elysium elysium echoes the warm sparkling peach tones of dawn's first light seraph was inspired by pink clouds illuminated by the setting sun these are so stunning you guys know i love the heavens glow blushes i have the other limited edition shades we are going to do a comparison of those shades as well just so you guys can see a side by side then i'll tell you guys my personal favorite shade these are so pretty pretty i had to match it with my dress how appropriate i'm so excited to show you guys these shades i did a full look of serif really pretty i didn't show you guys this but if you want to see something like this and maybe something a little more done up i could totally do that for you guys let's just get into the application Ugh, i'm so excited to show you guys these shades i purposefully wore a dress that matched you're welcome let's start off with sarah this beautiful cool tone pink this is their first ever cool tone blush in their heaven's glow collection they describe it as a bright pink with lilac iridescence i saw someone apply right under their eyes and it looked so beautiful and what's really nice about these blushes they're very forgivable and you could just keep blending and if you don't want it as intense you just keep blending all right that's one layer i want to build it up a little bit more it's stunning now i didn't set my skin because i know i want to show you guys other blushes at the same time but this isn't my go-to blush color because it is a cool tone i think i like the other one way more i've worn that one more often than this one i've only worn this like a couple of times but it is really really beautiful and since we're here let's compare it to their other limited edition shades this one is in cherub i think this one is probably the most comparable even though it's a totally different undertone now i also mentioned when this came out i think now it's been like two years this is not a shade i go for either but it does lean warmer when you look at them initially they kind of look quite similar but the serif side has this lilac iridescence and you can see it more when i move my face but now my personal favorite elysium is a coral peach with champagne iridescence now this chart that they have on their website is quite helpful it shows you where all of these blushes fall whether they're cool muted warm or bright and elysium falls between warm and bright and i think that's totally true now you guys will see how much of this blush flatters my warmer undertones better obviously these two are very different from one another but just to show you guys a side by side on a warm undertone and it's so funny because and my other dress matches Elysium. I need to do some sort of reels where I go back and forth between the dresses with these looks before I have to send them back later this week. I think I want to do that and you'll see it on Instagram. Now let's compare Elysium with Persimmon. Now if you've been here for a minute, you guys know I love Persimmon. I love Fady Clementine. Both warmer undertone blushes. I need to bring this one back out because I haven't used it for like it's been a minute. You can see how Persimmon is more of a bright tangerine and Elysium is definitely more of a coral peach because it has that pink undertone. Both are really pretty, definitely up my alley. I'm going to go back to Serif just so we can have a matching look to my dress and then I'll give you my final thoughts. I think I'm warming up to this blush. I put a little bit on the eyes. It's just so pretty and very, um, what's the word? Like understated. Of course you can build it up. And I also tried the technique where you put it right under the eyes. I don't usually do that. And then I lifted it a little bit more. I usually go a little bit lower right here, but I went like right under the eyes. It's just so pretty and youthful. <sighs> I can't choose between the two. At first, the beginning of this video, I was like, oh, it's an easy one. It's Elysium, but now I'm torn. It's 50-50. I definitely think I'm going to wear Elysium more than the other one just because of my everyday look. But it just looks so nice with this dress. I will have everything linked down below, even what I'm wearing on the eyes and the lips because I think this look is just really pretty. And Cosmetics does a really good job of the word ethereal and putting it in a bottle and putting it in a product product and these are definitely them all of their heaven school blushes give you that look i think they should continue doing that even with some sort of um like setting powder and i think they should do a cream highlighter that gives an ethereal look i totally think that they could achieve that so those are my thoughts on the blushes i love them i hope you guys enjoy that comparison i had a feeling i was going to love them i love this formulation so to me it was an obvious yes these are limited edition shades just like the other two if it's just like the others i'm guessing that it's going to be up there for some time like 
probably closer to a year or so so just to keep that in mind i did notice on their website that persimmon is still available so if you're interested in that tangerine bright orange definitely go for it if you guys enjoy these types of reviews if you guys enjoy m cosmetics reviews i don't see too many specifically on youtube uh definitely like this video subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content i'll see you guys in another video bye